Asherman syndrome is scar tissue that can occur within the uterus. Sometimes that can occur after one DNC, sometimes after multiple, sometimes after a patient has had a miscarriage and there's some placenta left in. So there are a lot of different reasons why somebody might get Asherman syndrome. The problem is that it can cause problems later on with reproduction. When we start to evaluate a patient for Asherman syndrome, we start off by taking a history and then often we perform an ultrasound. If they haven't had their period, we can use hormones to try to induce them to have a period. If they still don't have a period, then we're really suspecting that they might have some significant problems like Asherman syndrome. We can do ultrasounds, we can do hysterosalpingograms, which is an x-ray where the radiologist injects some dye through the cervix, but even that may not always be possible. And that's where 3D ultrasound comes in. If you can't evaluate the uterine cavity, in any other way, then just by doing a simple 3D ultrasound, we can evaluate much of the uterus that couldn't otherwise be seen. So when we're using a three-dimensional ultrasound, one of the beauties is that we don't only see the bottom of the uterus, this is what you might see in a hysterosalpingogram if the uterus has some outflow obstruction or severe adhesions here, but we can see well beyond it, so we can see some of the subtle scar tissues that can occur at the top of the uterus. And by the time we go in surgically, we have a really good roadmap of how to approach the uterus and how we could best surgically manage it. There have been patients who have small areas of normal endometrium separated by big chunks of scar tissue, but if we know where we're going, we can actually connect the normal areas and often create or recreate a normal uterus. At this point, it's important to have an experienced surgeon, one that has a good idea of how to best manage this condition. We want to target specifically scar tissue, but not do a DNC again, which is possibly what caused the condition in the first place, not to do a lot of manipulation of the uterus, but to be very specific and targeted in how we interrupt any adhesions, recreate a normal cavity, and then stop the procedure. Afterwards, an experienced surgeon will also leave a catheter in place and send the patient home on estrogen so that the lining can get thicker and antibiotics to prevent an infection, and that catheter can come out a week later. But the most important thing is that an experienced surgeon is the first one to approach the uterus because the first attempt is often the most successful one. Asherman syndrome can be challenging, it can be scary for patients, but it covers a wide range of conditions from very mild scar tissue to severe scar tissue. Given today's technology, given 3D ultrasounds, skilled surgeons, high-tech fiber optic hysteroscopy equipment, the good news is that many patients can indeed be cured and go on to have healthy babies. Mm -hmm.